Hi, I'm Laura Prudham from the Huffington Post. And I'm Dan Furigal and I play Agron in Spartacus. And we are going to be talking about episode five, Blood Brothers. Obviously this is the final season. I'd imagine that it must be pretty bittersweet to, to have embarked on this and finally be at the end of the journey. It was, it was very bittersweet, um, but uh, very, very exciting because the most amazing stuff happens. I'm not going to lie, I was pretty concerned for Agron in this episode when he was kind of facing down Caesar because we know Caesar's not going anywhere. No, we know <laughs> that, that is very true. Uh, regardless of what happens to Caesar, we do know he lives. That's a historical fact. Mm -hmm. I'm not giving away any spoilers there. Spoiler alert, Caesar goes on to do some other things. Now would be time to run. Also in this episode, uh, we saw a little bit of jealousy between Agron and Nazir. I have not broken trust with you. You were with Castus after I commanded you remain absent his company. Commanded? The way I saw it was because Agron was so protective of his brother back in first season, and he developed a close relationship with Nazir. To have that possibil the possibility of that being ripped away from him, I think brings up a lot of emotions. And so the way Agron reacts is to you know, jealous, anger, violence. If I'd been discovered with the solution after promises made to you, you would be of equal passion. I see that both parties are completely justified. Agron can see that there is something going on between Castus and Nazir. Um, but also Nazir can see that Agron is overreacting. And I am to believe of all within the city, he miraculously appears by your side. As I would believe you. And all things. And I think that hits Agron pretty deeply and realizes that maybe he is overreacting. Maybe he does have to reevaluate what's going on. But in a weird way, it's all coming out of love. Um, he loves Nazir and, and like um, hugely. And um, he doesn't want to lose him. In this episode, we've kind of seen Crixus simmering a little bit up to this point, but Agron has always been very loyal to Spartacus. I did not care for the way his eyes fall upon you. <gasps> Gaze I grew familiar with. The Crixus and Spartacus relationship goes all the way back. When we were yet slaves to Batiatus. They both have their own agendas, they both have their own opinions, and it's a constant battle for, I guess, supremacy. And where do you stand? in such regard. Agron, though, knows his place. He's loyal to Spartacus because Spartacus gave him the chance to live. It's a life debt, and he wants to repay that. With you. And always shall upon field of battle. Well, thank you very much. It's a pleasure talking to you. Uh, join us again next week. We will be talking to Anna Hutchison about episode six. Hope you enjoy. And uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>